Hello kindergarten, and this is Meredith. Today we're going to do module two, lesson seven. And our objective is I can classify and name solid shapes. So we're going to be able to look at those 3D solid shapes and figure out what makes them, what features make up that shape and put them into different categories, okay? We're going to be able to match basically a 3D object that we just see a picture of with a real life object that's 3D, which is super cool because they're all around us. So for today, if you would like, go grab something to write with and something to write on. A lot of our work is going to be on the screen, but it's always good to have something to write with and something to write on. And come on back when you're ready. Okay, so the first game we're going to play today is called Show Me Shapes. And we are going to be given a feature of the shapes. And we're going to have to find those shapes within our picture, okay? So the first direction is circle shapes that have points. Now let's remember, a point is usually like a dot, but it's where your lines meet. So if your lines Here's a triangle. The triangle has three points. It's where your lines meet. We're going to see how many of these shapes on our screen have points. What I want you to do is pause me and look at the screen, and you can point at the screen and figure out if there's a point where two lines meet. Go ahead and unpause me when you're ready to come back. I'm so excited you're back. So we need to look at this soup can. It's a cylinder. I find mine. It's a cylinder. Are there any points on it? It doesn't look pointy like a triangle, does it? No, so we're not going to circle that one. Let's grab my cone. I'm going to grab my cone. Look at all the line lines meet. There is a what? A point. So are we gonna circle it? Does this shape have points? It sure does. Okay, I have the wrong tool there. I need a marker, not a shape drawer. I'm gonna do my best to circle that. Okay. Now Hmm. Looking at this, is there another picture of something that looks like a cone? Yeah. What is it? A party hat. Very good. So we're, if the cone has a point, does the party hat have a point? Yeah. The party hat is in the shape of a cone. Very good. Look at this dice or our cube. Are there points on it? Yes, there are. So we can circle that too. Now where's the other cube? Can you point to it on your screen? Is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. We can circle that. Look at the soccer ball. Does it have any points? It's a sphere. Are there any points on here? No. So we circled all the shapes that have points. Great job. So if we circled the shapes that have points, the ones we didn't circle don't have. Points. Very good. So we actually just classified or sorted our shapes by using the features of points and having no points. Great job. Let's go on to our next problem. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to classify our shapes by shapes that have straight sides and shapes that do not have straight sides. Because a line isn't straight 
What is it? Curvy. Very good. So we are going to have our curvy lines and our straight lines. Okay. I want you to go ahead and pause me, look at the shapes, and figure out what shapes have straight lines. Up and down or side to side. Then, when you're all ready, come on back and we'll walk through this problem together. Alright, I am so excited you're back. So let's write off with our Now, look at does this have straight lines? On the sides, it does have straight lines. That one's a little bit tricky, but see, there are straight lines. So we can go ahead and circle our soup can. What shape does the soup can match? A cylinder. Can you point to a cylinder on your screen? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Is it this one? Yes, this is a cylinder. Good job. Now, let's look at this shape right here. Does it have straight I would agree. Yes, it does have straight sides. Right here are straight sides. I'm going to go ahead and circle it. Can you match it to one of the objects? Which object? Out of these three, the soccer ball, the ice cream cone, or the block. Does it match? Match the block? No. Does it match the ice cream cone? Yes. Awesome job. Okay. Looking at our block or our cube, which goes along with this one, two cubes, do they have straight sides? Yeah, they do. Look at you can see right here those straight lines. So we're gonna go ahead and circle it. Wow, this is a lot of shapes that have straight sides. Now looking at does a sphere have straight sides? No. Those are curvy. It just goes around and around. So once again, you guys just classified shapes, this time by figuring out if they had straight sides, curvy sides. Okay, so we're going to dive right into what our 3D shapes are called and their name. So this solid or 3D shape is called a cone. Can you tell me the two shapes you notice within this cone? Very good. There is a triangle and the bottom is a what circle so that flat part of the cone where the cone sits see how the cone can sit that circle that is called a face so we're gonna put a smiley face sticker on the face of our cone how many faces does a cone have then just one. Amazing. This shape is like a dice and it's called a cube. Is a cube? We are going to find each face of the cube and then put a sticker over it. Remember my candle? What we're going to do is find the face or the flat shape. Which is a what? what kind of shape is the flat part of a cube? A square. It has four sides, but all the sides are equal. So we're going to find all the squares within a cube. So count with me. We have one up top. 
one behind. And add another one. One on the right side. One on the bottom. Oh my goodness. One on the left side. And if we had one on the right and the left, the top and the bottom, the back, so I went over, under, beside, behind, and then I need to do in front of. Very good. Let's count how many smiley faces we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many faces does a cube have? Six faces. And there are six squares that make a cube. So there are six faces. Now our cylinder. We talked about before that the two circles on the top and a big rectangle. How many faces would be on our cylinder, do you think? Just the flat parts. Two, very good. One up top. And one down below. The two circles. So we are going to continue classifying or sorting our shapes. So looking at our cone here, does it have any faces? Yes, just how many? One, the circle on the bottom is a face. Coming over to our cylinder, does that shape have any faces? Yes, it has two circles, one up top, one down below. Looking at our cube, now we talked that it does have faces, but does anyone remember how many? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great job. Six squares or six faces make a cube. Now, does it have any faces? No, a sphere has no faces. Okay, and the second way we're going to classify shapes today is if they have corners or no corners, just like when we did the points. Okay? I want you to pause me, and I want you to look and figure out which shapes you think have corners and which shapes you do not. When you're all ready, come on back. All right, I'm so excited you're back. So look at this. Does this have points? Does this cone have points? Yes, it has points, so it has a corner. Just one corner, and the corner is right up on the top. Looking at our cylinder, does that shape have points? No. So does it have corners? No. Now we have a cube. Does that shape have points? Yes. So does it have corners? Look at one, two, three, four. There's a corner. Very good. And our last one, our sphere. Does the shape have points or corners? It does not. So we classify our 3D shapes, including a cone, cube, cylinder, and sphere, a lot of different ways today. We talked about points and no points, corners and no corners, curved sides and edges, no edges. We did a lot of hard work today for new shapes. You guys did a great job. I cannot wait to see what you learned today through your exit ticket, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.